Hello, and welcome to what will no doubt be the finale of Kirby in the Amazing Mirror. Now before we go on to the end, I want to show you the sub-games. Speed Eaters, Crackety Hack, and Kirby Wave Ride. I will only be playing them all once on the easiest setting. Kirby Speed Eater is a game where you test your reaction time. When you see the exclamation point, press A as fast as you can to eat the apples. Occasionally, bombs will show up, and if you eat the bombs, you're out for a turn. It takes eight apples for you to fully fill up your Kirby and win. The CPUs are completely unforgiving on level three. Crackety Hack is probably the only one I can beat on level three, and that's only when I'm lucky. You have to press the A button in accordance to build up your power, and then you have to line up your punch, and I failed. I probably lost that. Let's find out, though. Yeah, I lost. Dead last. It's been too long since I've done anything like this, so I don't know what I'm doing exactly, but... That was Crackety Hack, and that was a failure. And for the last minigame... We have Wave Rider. We press A to jump, and we time jumps for speed bursts. Speed bursts. Yeah. Depending on how well you jump off the ledges, dictates how fast of a speed boost you'll get. I'm apparently bad at timing, but I took the lead in the end. I probably won this, but I can't be too airy cocky now. These computers are unforgiving. I used to be really good at this minigame, but I can't <laughs> tap the button fast enough to get the jump properly. Ooh. I keep pressing it too late, but I still won in the end, so that's all that matters. Hmm. But that was... Uh, <laughs> there they are. Yeah, it doesn't finish until all the other Kirby's finish. But that was, um... Uh... What was this minigame called? Uh, Kirby Wave Ride. Right. Okay, now we'll finish up with the main adventure. Before we go into that mirror, though, I'm going to go up here and grab the Smash Power Up. Because Smash is amazing. <gasps> that is if I can get in the window. Now, when all three Kirby... Now, whatever Kirby's are present when you go in that door will follow you in here. So if there was none, I'd be by myself. But we can see here now that that's a fake Meta Knight, because the real one's up there. This is the Imposter Dark Meta Knight. Showing no mercy. Oh dear. I hate this attack. Hate that attack too. I hate a lot of this guy's attacks. He stays true to the name of Meta Knight with a lot of cheap, fast area of effect attacks. Uh uh. Good job, Yellow. You killed him when I had one HP left. You're a real trooper. But with Dark Meta Knight's death, he shatters like a mirror, and a strange portal opens up and sucks us all in. Majestic. Oh, Meta Knight threw a sword in. Oh my. Get it. And now we have the Master Ability. Potentially the most broken thing in this entire game. Yay! And I respawn. We all have fire. I feel like that's a bad idea. Dark eye, Dark Mind's eye is his weak spot, and he is very similar to a lot of 
bosses in the Kirby franchise by having eye-related weaknesses. His mirrors are probably the biggest annoyance because they constantly block attacks. But he's down. And after each fight with uh, Dark Mind, you end up in. Oh, I'm hit it through that. You end up in an area that represents one of the worlds you've been through. As well, I think you do. I don't know if you go through all of them. But. You fight him multiple times, and at the beginning of each fight with him, you get the Master Sword. Well, the Master Ability. Ooh, I forgot about that side dash. This is a truly devastating attack. Look at that. That was devastating. He stood no chance. Oh, and if you charge it up, you can do an attack similar to Meta Knight. Send out a shockwave to destroy all of it stands in your way. I didn't take the path that got me the extra life or maximum tomato, but I did get a uh, some health. But the uh, master, the sword that gives you master, isn't like other abilities because it. When it's knocked out of you, it doesn't turn into a star. It remains the sword. Truly devastating. MLG Pro, spam attacks. And done. I love this weapon. It's just so ridiculous. Now, I could take a convoluted path and get some maximum tomato, but I'm already at max HP, so I'll just jump in here for the next phase. In fact, I'm going to call my teammates for this phase, because I think this is the last uh, Dark Mind we fight. Yes, yellow. Just get and spam crash. This is probably the most annoying fight with Dark Mind because he'll constantly do that. Okay, I. And this battle isn't helped by the fact it's coupled with ice physics. No, you don't. Don't you dare eat that again, yellow. There are very truly few things I- Oh, for the love of God. Don't spam that! Yellow! Stay alive green, stay alive green, stay alive green, stay alive green, okay. Thanks, teammates. This got harder, coupled by both ice physics and the fact I lost, that's... The, ma uh, the master ability. Don't. That's what I hate about the AIs having the crash ability. They attack as soon as something shows up on their screen, even if they can hit it or not. Thanks, Yellow. Come closer! 
useless. Oh, for the love of God, no, it's my power. Only got a decent hit off on you. Turn around, Kirby! For the love of God! Give me this. I'll show you how to use Crash. Oh no. Okay. I got a randomizer right there, and I realize that's the first time it's probably shown up in this. Finally! Gotcha! Pain in the neck. God, I hate that face. Stupid ice physics. I love this battle theme, by the way. No, what'll do? You couldn't tell there's a heavy emphasis on mirrors with this boss. How much so it gets slightly annoying. Great, switch the perspective. Oh, for the love of God. Die already! Gotcha! Now there's one last phase to beat, and I don't think I have enough HP to do so. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is gonna be painful. I'll probably get a game over and... Try this again, and probably fail just as badly because of that stupid sec last phase of Dark Mind. In this phase, you want to spam the B button as much as you can. And avoid when he does that! Not losing, not losing. Dang it! That stupid dash attack. Joy, get your butts back in this main area. Round two. Stupid unavoidable attack. Get off of me! For the love of God. Use more star producing attacks. That's not star producing. Neither is this. Oh, come on! You really love that attack all of a sudden, don't you? 
Good job, Yellow. Star. This is one of the reasons I hate fighting this guy without a power. <sighs> so annoying! Star! Enough of that attack! You little spammer! Come on! Come on! Star producing attacks! Not your little jump spin and this nonsense. Stars! That's it! If you refuse to give me what I need to kill you, I need to call for backup. Hello, dumbs. Kill. Good boys. Oh, and I got the food. That's majestic. Okay, I ran out of cell phone batteries from that one fight alone. God. These final few fights annoy me to no ends at times, and that's one of those times, because Dark Man and Knight refuse to cooperate. Give me this. I'm going to wreck your first three forms, just so you know. Demo- <laughs> Fucking course. Oh, for the love of God. Give me this. Nope. Course. Oh god, stop, stop, stop. I get hit off every time he attacks. That'll slowly kill him. What was I doing? Stand on buttons! Buttons! Useless. Alright guys, guys, guys! Stop following me like straight- For the love of god, press that button! Press the button! Ah! Button! Useless teammates! Ah! Wow, Yellow. Are you that much of a failure, Yellow? You know, we both have an easier time, Dark Mind, if you don't spawn on top of me. Because then I could just do this. Break. Oh, the maximum tomato was in the first one. Oh well, I can still get these. Str Back off, red, red. Useless teammates trying to steal my stuff. Oh yeah, it's this area. This shouldn't be too bad as long as red survives. Ah. Wait, I thought I gave him HP. How'd he die in one hit? Done. This time I get to go on Mr. on the long and unnecessary quest through this top half of this world. As it nets me an extra life, apparently. And a maximum tomato.
Final showdown. Let's not fail due to ice physics, shall we? Nope, 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 no, no ice physics. Nuh uh. Come here! God, blessed sword! Joy! Stop teleporting! Oh, for the love of God! Die. Die, die, die. I'm done. On to the last phase. Uh... If you notice, Shadow Kirby shows up to give us the Master Sword, showing that he isn't truly evil. Whoa. Still love this battle theme, though. You. This is probably the easiest phase I have a time fighting. I say as I get owned by the minions, get out. Oh, for God. I am one hit away from death. Oh, come on! That was gone! Fight starts over, but I get a cell phone call this time. Don't you? Okay. Come here. Wheel? No, 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 no. I ate the sword. Thank God for Shadow Kirby. What the? Thank you for knocking that off. Never amazes me how you cease to make attacks hard for me to dodge. Harder.
Die! Okay, going into the last phase. I could still end this here and still have it be a reasonable length video. That's a lie, and I know it. <sighs> Let's hope this last phase doesn't beat me up as badly as it did the last time. Come on, here I go. I just have to focus on dodging and hitting. Ooh. How much for dodging? Oh, I won. Now basically I just get to hit this thing as much as possible until the credits finish rolling. That's basically all it is. A shoot and see how many times you can hit him. So, uh, this game's pretty fun. Despite all the terrible moments I had, the fight saying it was easy and getting hit by the first enemy. Dying to this boss. Actually, I think this video was the first one to show what happens if you get a game over. You basically get sent back to the beginning area as if you hadn't started playing well. As if you... Now he just sits there and starts getting shot, and then he needs... Eventually, goes boom. It gives you 30 extra hits. I've broken 100 once or twice, but I'm not doing that any anytime soon. And now the credits. And so Dark Mind was defeated and his dream of conquering the Mirror World was shattered. Now at last, peace will return to the Mirror World. But they remain on guard. After all, who knows when another evil might arise. Don't worry, though. Mere World Kirby will be there to keep them all safe. And just like that, our four Kirbys begin flying into the mirror as World Mere World Kirby begins waving his goodbyes. Okay. Uh I have a couple more things to show you, and then I will call it a video, and we will see the end of this series. And I'll start another one to go along with... So I still have two ongoing. Hey, look, it's Meta Knight. And Meta Knight drops the sword, and it lands in the pedestals. So basically, anytime you play this game again after beating the final boss, you have access to the master ability. And this fancy the end scene plays with the sword stabbed into the clouds. Does it take us back to the main world? No. Flung, falling stars. Eventually, oh, there's the four Kirbys, and they all wave goodbye as they fly off the screen. Goodbye, Kirby 1, 2, 3, and 4. No matter night? No matter night. Now we're back at the main menu. First of all, hmm. In the sub-games, if I had gotten 100%, there would be a boss rush mode, but getting 100% would mean finding all of these, and that ain't happening. It's a miracle I found these two things. But uh, using this spray turns Kirby, the pink one, to his color. I suppose I could show you real fast after using one. But... Yeah, it basically turns him to that color, and uh, that's about it. I'm gonna run over through the episodes as I roll two as I talk. Now, I plan on doing more Kirby games in the future. Uh, I'm not sure which ones yet. But, just know that there will be more. So, 
I plan on finishing up. I don't plan on finishing up Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga for a while. Because it's not that short of a game. And it should keep me going for a while, but I do plan to start another series in a, the uh, day after tomorrow, so Monday. Or in some cases, Tuesday, because I upload it like. Well, it's 1.15 a.m. right now, so I technically say this is my Monday upload. I always seem to upload after midnight for some reason, but... I think that's probably because it's probably the just the best time for me to upload, because no one else is awake. But the reason I came all this way is to show you why the Master Sword's overpowered. Remember King Golem? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, when you've already collected a mirror shard, you'll get a max and tomato for beating a boss. Well, everyone, I will see you all tomorrow with some more with Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, and then on Tuesday I will begin my next project, which is going to be a surprise. Until then, see y'all next time.